Truth in Accounting is dedicated to unveiling true government financial data, but sometimes when we talk about huge numbers, it can be difficult to conceptualize. The true national debt has reached $117 trillion, which is an all-time high. Our national debt reported by the U.S. is actually much less than the true national debt. In fact, it is only calculated to be $22 trillion. But do you have any idea how much a trillion dollars is? We define a trillion in a few different ways. Take a second with us to understand just how big this amount really is. One trillion is equivalent to one thousand billion dollars. This means there are twelve zeros in it. To compare, one billion has nine zeros and one million has six zeros. Let's understand the amount of trillion by using weight. One million ants would weigh a little over six pounds. One billion ants would weigh over three tons, a little less than the weight of an elephant. One trillion ants would weigh over 3,000 tons. That is as heavy as a Navy combat ship. Now, what if we stacked a million, billion, and trillion pennies and measure their heights? Let's see if this makes things clearer. One million pennies stacked on top of each other would make a tower nearly a mile high. That is higher than the tallest building in the world, the Burj Dubai. One billion pennies stacked on top of each other would make a tower almost 870 miles high. Now that is like leaving the atmosphere of the Earth. One trillion pennies stacked on top of each other would make a tower about 870,000 miles high, the same distance obtained by going to the moon, back to Earth, then to the moon again. Now let's look at time. How much time has passed in a million seconds? A billion seconds? A trillion seconds? Let's find out. 1 million seconds is about 11 and a half days. 1 billion seconds is about 31 and a half years. 1 trillion seconds is over 31,000 years. We believe it is important for the United States citizens to understand the severity of this financial crisis our country is facing. $117 trillion in debt is a huge amount of money, and if the federal government doesn't address this debt soon, we will unfairly push the enormous burden onto future generations.